Today we're going to be looking at the Hammock Bliss Sky Bed. This is one of the most comfortable hammocks I've tried in a long time. It's got an extremely unique design and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer to show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see this hammock has an integrated sleeve that can fit your sleeping pads. Uh, it can fit a 72 inch by 20 inch pad and that basically will cover all the pads you're going to use. It uh, has a fold over flap that secures the pad in place and so it's not going to slide up, it's not going to slide left, it's not going to slide right. It fits exactly where you want it to be. Now you're thinking, oh big deal, I could throw a pad in any hammock. The way they specifically designed this setup allows for a flat lay in a comfortable sleeping space with no shoulder squeeze. Um, normally if you throw a sleeping pad inside a, a gathered in hammock like this, you're going to be wiggling back and forth with the, with the pad. Sometimes the pad will slip up on the side for you unless you have a double layer. But even still on the double layer it sl slides back and forth. So with this system, you're set up ex uh, with a specific asymmetrical design in mind and you get a nice flat lay. Now here I am inside the hammock and you can see that uh, I'm super comfortable, I'm super flat. Uh, I have zero shoulder squeeze. I have plenty of space on both of my both sides. And the only thing I can I can think to really give you an idea of the kind of lay that you get in this is it's very comparable to a bridge hammock. Now, if you are a bridge hammock user, you're thinking, oh no, I can't I can't compare it to my bridge hammock. I get a, the flattest lay. But uh, I'm telling you, the way that he's got this designed, it's it's flat. And it's comfortable. I mean, I'm lying on my back right now. I'm super comfortable. Let's, I can go to a full fetal position if I want. But even more so. And if you watch the bridge hammock battle, you'll see that this is an almost impossible position to go in the bridge hammock when you go full because of the pressure points you get on your legs. But in this system, it's great. Super comfortable. Do the jackhammer pose for you. Really great both sides. This side even more so I think comfortable than the than the other. Double arms above you and the infamous stomach lay. I can easily see this becoming one of my favorite setups. Now, the only downside of having the pad in all the time is if it's super hot outside, sometimes you want the breathability and the cool breeze coming underneath you from uh, just the fabric and you don't want the pad to keep you warm and you can get a lot of back sweat. I was hanging out in this the other night and um, I found I just kept sweating so bad on my back, but I have a pretty insulated pad, so um, perhaps with a lighter pad that, that you wouldn't have that same problem, but that was something I noticed. And the hammock isn't as comfortable without a pad, so but it's designed to go with the pad, that's why. So um, that's the only downfall I can see, but there's not many circumstances where you're not going to want the pad overnight. So it's a minor, minor, minor detail. So this hammock is 130 inches long, 53 inches wide, and it only weighs 23 ounces. So this for me is gonna be one of my top hammocks I think this summer. Uh, extremely comfortable, extremely easy to carry around, easy to set up, nice and light. And I really enjoy this. I think I'm gonna be using it more so than the other setups I have. So thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my website www.campinghammockreviews.com